Hello, I am Dr. Susan Fenske, Clarion University's Vice President for Student Affairs. It is with great pleasure that I welcome all of you to the Clarion University Virtual Commencement Ceremony as we share this occasion with all of you. Please rise for the posting of our nation's colors by the cadets of the Clarion University Army ROTC Color Guard and the singing of the national anthem. Right. Left, 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 right. Mark time, march. Group, pull. Right face. Prepare to post the colors. Post the colors. Present arms. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming Order, arms. Left, face. Forward, march. Left, 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 right. Left. At this time, I'm proud to introduce to you Dr. Dale Elizabeth Pearson, Clarion University's 17th president. She now will provide her greetings to the graduating class. Greetings, and welcome to Clarion University's virtual commencement ceremony. It is with great pleasure and an honor that I share this occasion with you. We miss you all on campus, and we welcome you here today. It's important to recognize that this past year has been a challenge. I'm sorry that this is not the graduation ceremony that you had planned for, but it is the one we have, and we are so glad you're here with us today. This ceremony in no way diminishes the accomplishments that you have made, working hard the last four years, and indeed this last year in particular. It is important to honor this milestone in your lives. It is also important to recognize the resilience, the bravery, the passion, the work, the determination, and the creativity that you've put forth to make this day happen. So much has changed this past year, but faced with the uncertainty of the pandemic, you have persevered, and indeed today you graduate. You deserve this special day, so please celebrate along with us, your families, and your loved ones. I am honored to be a part of this day, as we all are. Congratulations. It is now my pleasure to introduce our Clarion University Council of Trustees, who wish to share their congratulatory greetings with our graduates. Congratulations to all of our Clarion University graduates. I'm State Representative Donna Oberlander. On behalf of myself, and the entire Council of Trustees, 
I want to take a minute or two to offer you my very best wishes as you complete your studies here at Clarion and embark upon your next chapter. I am sure when you began your collegiate career here, you had no idea that when you earned your degree that you would be a part of a shared worldwide history, but you are. This shared experience and the history you are making due to the COVID-19 pandemic has made your studies far more challenging. You took your classes online and away from campus. You adapted to the changing world and your changing community. You adapted to a different way of life and you adapted to doing what you could to make your life and the lives of others around you a bit better. I know you all worked very hard to earn your degree, but I also want to acknowledge those other parts of your life that may not be as obvious. It's important that you know that we in the Clarion community know this was far from easy. In addition to your classwork, you went the extra mile to assist other classmates as well as your professors. And most importantly, you took extra effort in your daily lives. You helped family members with their own virtual education. You took on additional duties for loved ones who couldn't go out in public. You may have lost your own employment, had your hours reduced, or suffered a job loss in your family. And you dealt with so many other challenges that we may not even think about. But you did it. You not only survived, but you thrived. So congratulations. You have faithfully earned your degree, and I wish you all nothing but the very best. Fly, Eagles, fly. Thank you. Hello, I'm Dr. Pam Gent, Clarion University's Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. It's with great pleasure that I present our keynote speaker, a Clarion University faculty member who will give our commencement address. You did it. You navigated English composition, quantitative reasoning, and maybe art history, or Shakespeare. Perhaps you learned about the complex spatial analysis known as geographic information systems, learned how to create gaming software, or used a scanning electron microscope to explore nanoparticles. You took philosophy's bioethics class as part of your general education requirements. Perhaps you delved deep into the origins and development of the civil rights movement in your political science or history classes. Besides general education subject, you took an array of courses in your major to help develop skills for a career in a discipline you love. Over the past year, you accomplished these feats during a pandemic that changed not only how you learned, how you interacted with your professors, your colleagues, and your friends, but also changed every aspect of your life. You should be proud of what you have accomplished. I know that your friends and relatives are bursting with joy. You may not realize it now, but you have received one of the most precious gifts America has to offer, a liberal arts education at a public university. The American public education system is distinctive, allowing broad accessibility and a holistic approach to learning. Your education provides you with the skills needed to enter the workforce. It has made you a better citizen and a more rounded person who will look back years from now for, into a fulfilled life. From your history courses, you can place current events in historical context. From your biology courses, you can understand pandemics. From the knowledge obtained from your anthropology courses, you can appreciate all the ways humans make meaningful lives and make sense of the world. You learned a new language that will become crucial to your new job in international business. Perhaps a course you took opened you up to a new career path. Exposure to a new concept could make a change in the direction of your life. That happened to me when just before college, my sister Catherine returned home from her university with an anthropology textbook and suggested I might like to pursue anthropology in college. I had never heard of anthropology. What is it, I asked. Is it the study of ants? After reading the textbook, I never looked back and made a career in anthropological archaeology. What attracted me to anthropology was its emphasis on the diversity of the human experience, a subject that has become a central theme in higher education. I still have that textbook. In recent years, the push in higher education has centered on acquiring skills associated with specific occupations. Providing these necessary skills is an important mission in higher education. However, 
Most of you will change occupation several times in your working life as career availability changes. What your liberal arts education has provided you with is the skills and knowledge to thrive in this changing job market. You can write effectively and speak in front of an audience because of your English and communication courses. The sociology course you took emphasizes information literacy that gives you the tools to assess the veracity of information on web pages about the American family. Your math and economy courses help you plan for retirement. It could be several years before you appreciate the advantages that your education has given you. Perhaps you'll make a connection with a client or a work companion over a shared interest in astronomy. You may realize that your courses in writing help you to develop a social media presence on an important issue in your region. Your ecology course in biology could lead you to volunteer for environmental initiatives in your community. Your extracurricular activities and clubs or events will help you to develop lifelong friendships. Most importantly, you will become an engaged citizen willing to use the acquired skills and knowledge derived from a comprehensive liberal arts education to link to your community and solve local and national problems. Learning does not stop with your degree. Keep on pursuing work-related skills and avocational interests for the rest of your life. It will add flavor, texture, and meaning to your career and to everything you experience. I will close with a quote from a 20th century writer that I have used as a guiding principle in my career and my life. T.H. White wrote, quote, learning is the only thing that the mind can never exhaust, never alienate, never be tortured by, never fear or distress, and never dream of regretting. Learning is the only thing for you. Congratulations again, and I wish you well on your life's journey. At this time, I'm delighted to present our student speaker and a degree candidate for graduation today who will bring greetings to the graduating class. Friends, family, faculty, Golden Eagles, welcome to the spring commencement for the graduating class of 2021. I would like to take this moment to thank the administration, COVID-19 task force, facilities, and IT department in making this virtual commencement ceremony possible. To the graduates watching, I ask you to take a moment today to tell someone important in your life, whether that be through text, phone call, email, or other form of communication, thank you for helping you reach this achievement. We all have so much to be thankful for. To my mom, Patty, stepdad, Ken, grandparents, Judy, Lenny, and Lorraine, and my fiance, Dante, I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you for encouraging me all these years. One year, one month, and 22 days ago, I was told that Claren University would be going remote to protect her students from the deadly coronavirus. Never could I have imagined 418 days later that we would still be living in this new reality and I would be giving my college commencement speech virtually. We have faced so many types of emotions through this last year. Fear, pain, loss, isolation, anger. But today, all I feel is a sense of hope. The graduating class of 2021 is entering the workforce, full of excitement and motivation. They will bring light to places that have seen so much darkness. Taking the skills and experiences they have learned, they will change lives and change the world. These thoughts bring me hope when I start to worry about going off into the workforce myself. Starting out as a graduate nurse can be scary in normal circumstances, but it has started to dawn on me that I am entering a war zone. No amount of preparation or education can make someone ready to start a new career, but never did I imagine myself, at the ripe old age of 23, becoming a soldier against an enemy that is plaguing the entire world. This next year will bring change, challenges, celebrations, and newfound confidence. We have worked four years to reach this part of our lives, and we should enjoy this time, even with its struggles, because it's going to go by fast. According to Webster's Dictionary, perseverance is defined as persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. Based on this last year, I think we all deserve an honorary doctorate in perseverance. There are so many things we have missed out on, and yet we still have reached this, our graduation day. While it is easier to wish that the coronavirus had never existed, perhaps we should start to look at things that we have gained this past year. For example, thanks to quarantining, I can now quote any John Mulaney comedy special in its entirety off of Netflix. What an achievement. 
And I was able to fall in love with Animal Crossing, which I played obscenely during the stay-at-home orders, something I wouldn't have found the time to fall in love with had it been for the coronavirus. But in all seriousness, I constantly wish that this was not the reality we were living in. But that is a slippery slope to ungrateful thoughts. We have all persevered and we will make it to the other side of this pandemic. However, in doing so, I hope that we all come out of it stronger and with more kindness in our hearts than before. Persevering through something can harden a person, but I urge you all to remain optimistic and search for joy in any circumstance. Dr. Dale asked me a few weeks ago what I would like my legacy to be at Clarion, and this got me to thinking about my place in our extensive history. Clarion has been proudly standing for 154 years, educating students and pro providing anyone the ability to elevate themselves to something greater. I am the 27th student trustee to serve Clarion, and though I don't think I've changed our university drastically, I would like to think that I've encouraged others to believe in the power of being themselves. When I started university, I thought that I was an unlikely candidate for leadership. I am a first generation student. I don't speak the way politicians or professionals speak. I don't dress to the nines. I am a small woman and I don't have any special knowledge that sets me apart from anyone else. Despite those facts, I was able to elevate myself to one of the highest positions a student can serve in higher education. How I did this falls to my greatest strength and my greatest weakness, which is my capacity to care. Taking a moment to focus on the needs of others and put aside your own needs provides a sense of purpose and motivation unlike anything else. It doesn't matter who you are or how you dress or what you look like. If you take the time to care for others, advocacy will naturally follow. Being a leader shouldn't denote strength. Instead, it should exemplify a want for benevolence. I implore you all to look for opportunities to show kindness to your neighbor. A world full of caring people can start with yourselves. I leave you today, no, I leave you today with a quote from my favorite author, Jodi Picoult. Maybe who you are isn't so much about what you do, but rather what you are capable of when you least expect it. We have so much to offer the world, and right now we are needed more than ever. So to our graduates, please go out into the world, be yourselves, and make a difference. To my beloved Clarion, I leave you today knowing that I am a better person now than I was when I entered your doors four years ago. You have taught us to be courageous, confident, and Clarion strong. To you, I leave my heart as I go forward in this world in the hopes of making a difference. May God bless the campus on the hill, and may he bless the graduating class of 2021. Thank you. We now come to the time in our ceremony for the awarding of our degrees. Will our Dean please come forward to present the candidates for graduation. I'm Dr. Laura Delbrug, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. It is my privilege to present the candidates for graduation for the College of Arts and Sciences and to affirm that they shall meet all of the requirements of the university and of their programs. Emily Breanne Adams. Dira Dayana Allen, Quinn Tillett Arbaugh, Jennifer Lynn Arbuckle, Amanda Aris, Joseph Clark Armstrong III, Megan Lee Artman, Isaiah Joel Baez, Lauren Renee Barnhart. Brooke O. Barnetts. Abigail May Beckwith. Gail Lavada Bennett. Allison Marie Bayo. Samantha Rayanne Bickford. Natalie K. Blackenbuehler, India Bobo, Brandon P. Boha, Christina Borkovic, Sabrina M. Bowen, 
Arlene M. Bowser, Taylor Marie Boyle, Sarah Jessica Bridges, Cameron Michelle Brubaker, Natalie Michelle Brush, Lakin Burkett, Malik S. Burks, Kiera Marie Campbell, James Glenn Carrigal, Sean Michael Carson, Jason W. Carpenter, Mackenzie A. Cassidy, Edward Allen Cheeseman Jr., Annie Marie Childers, Mercedes Marie Consta, Kyle James Connell, Rachel Cotton, Kylie Nicole Craig, Daniel Thomas Crockett, Nadia Marlena Davis, Haley Page Delp, Hunter Brianne Ditzenberger, Rachel Elizabeth Dressler, Rebecca Edwards Sizemore, Maxim James Irwin, Lisa Esposito, Rebecca Lee Bagley, Carl Otto Fenske III, Carrie Diane Fetzer, Joseph James Poles, Faith Arella Forry, Elizabeth Marie Foster, Gabriella Helena Fratentuano, Michaela Ray Fusco, Benjamin Mark Fai, Benjamin Mark Fai, Paul G. Gesh Jr., Nick Richard Geyer Jr., Cole Justin Jezik, Chastity Arlene Gilbert, Alexander Michael Gillen, Renee Glass, Marissa Lynn Gray, Adria Suzanne Gillums, Andrew T. Gunn, Dakota R. Hall, Kelly Lynn Harvey, Kara Ellison Hershey, Nessa P. Hester, Paige Nicole Hockenberry, Mackenzie Joe Hoffman, Timothy Martin Holt Jr., Amanda Jean Marie Hopper, Hunter Matthew Horning, Courtney Elizabeth Hudson, Paige R. Huffman, Joseph Francesco Saplin Abanez. Caitlin Marie Johnston, Kylie Alexandra Judy, Gustav M. Jest, LaShawn 
S. Kelly. Jordan Deshaun Kendrick. Hope Elizabeth Keesling. Drew Scott Kirsten. Bailey Janelle Hutfer. Kaylee Nicole Kowalczyk. Magana Reddy Koya. Alexis Mackenzie Kroll. Daniel Lee Lamond. Frank John Lang. Lakin Lavan. Charles Andrew Lehman. Lamar Lester Jr. Kimberly Rose Mackey. Tanner Jacob Malik. Autumn Rose Martino. Kiera Messiah. Anthony Mestro Mateo. Mary P. Mazur. Danielle L. McNally. Jasa Lynn Malaison. Rebecca Mendiola. Sky Lee Mitchell. Nicholas Joseph Magolia. Mariah Elizabeth Ann Morris. Malcolm X. Mosley. Hannah Renee Munger. Nicole Carlin Murray. Austin Lewis Nardi. Bobby Neese. Reagan Blair Nieswanger. Kayla Marie Nicely. Kiara Charney Nixon. Keith Ogden Jr. Kaylee Brooke Oshesky. Michaela Ann Palmieri. Evan Hunter Pabst. Carly Alexandra Park. Nia Lee Panate. Jonathan Dwayne Anthony Persaud. Thomas James Payton Jr. Emily September Phillips. Caitlin Jane Phillips. Mark Barry Pintar. Holly D. Pittman. Derek Daniel Pritchard. Peyton Nicole Quigley. Samantha Joe Ridiger. Kayla Marie Rivera Lanos. Keaton Edward Brownsville. Zachary Taylor Rupp. Jennifer Lynn Russell. Shelby Ray Sager. Brandon Scott Sass. Dennis Lloyd Schlossman Jr. Andrew James Schwab. Kimberly E. Shoemaker. Riley Aaron Shoemaker. Jared Allen Simpson. Sarah K. Smirker. Asia Lexus Smith. K. 
Caitlin, Bethany, Amelia, Sobeck, Abigail, Carol, Scone, Puchko, Olivia, Danielle, Stouffer, Jared, Clark, Sullenberger, Heather, June, Swanson, Tate, Hassis, Swanson, Daria, Annette, Tatum, Courtney, Lynn, Teague, James, Edward, Thompson, the fourth, Mara, Lee, Thompson, William, John, Townsend, Sarah, Beth, Trago, Sunshine, S. Venable, Jada, R. Washington, Eric, Wygant, Kimberly, P. Westover, Tessa Marie Whitmoyer, Zachary Michael Wildson, Abigail Rose Wilson, Caitlin Elizabeth Wint, Jacqueline M. Withrow, Cole Joseph Wolbert, Logan Michael Wright, Katie Marie Zamorowski. At this time, the Clarion University Alumni Association will provide remarks on behalf of the organization that represents the assembled alumni of this university. Hi, everybody. I'm Teresa Etter, Chair of the Alumni Association Board of Directors, and congratulations, you did it. After years of hard work and commitment, you've earned your degree. On behalf of the Clarion University Alumni Association, we offer heartfelt congratulations to each of you. You deserve deep respect for persevering during a pandemic. Earning a degree in this time shows your tenacious character, grit, and determination. As you embark on the next phase of your life, know that it's not just you against the world. You are among more than 59,000 Clarion alumni worldwide. Stay connected by telling us about your accomplishments so that we can celebrate with you. Come back for homecoming and alumni weekends. And if you can't return to Clarion in person, visit our website for events near you. Read your Clarion University magazine and visit our website and social media sites regularly. Stay informed and you'll be a wonderful ambassador for the university. As a welcome to the Alumni Association and to help you celebrate your achievement, each graduate will be mailed a Clarion University card decal and license plate holder, as well as an official welcome to the Alumni Association, which exists to keep you connected to your Clarion roots. We hope you will use it to show your Clarion pride. You're part of the Clarion University legacy. You forever are linked to Clarion's past, present, and future. Be proud of your Clarion education and tell your Clarion story to prospective students and encourage them to join the Clarion family. As you leave this campus today as alum, we hope it is just the beginning of a lifelong relationship. Be proud of your hard work that brought you here today and know that you forever represent what it means to be courageous, confident Clarion. To conclude our ceremony, Please stand and join us for the singing of the Clarion University alma mater and remain standing for the posting of our nation's colors by the Clarion University ROTC. O oh, Clarion, dear Clarion, O oh, college on the hill, to all the joys of student life, our hearts will ever thrill. Your silent winding river, it haunts me still. O oh, Clarion, dear Clarion, we pledge our faith to you 
to everlasting love and loyalty in everything we do. To you, dear Alma Mater, will ever be true. Left, 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 right. Mark time, march. Group, pull. Right face. Present arms. Order arms. Prepare to retire the colors. Retire the colors. Left face. Forward, march, left, 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 right, left.